Hey guys, it's Urban Exotics UK, or Lewis, and today I'm going to do a collection tour. As of now, I'm, I'm not going to do feeding video today because I couldn't get my tripod. Anyway, let's get on with the video. We have my Madagascan Marble Mantis. I custom built this, mostly from salvage stuff. The only thing I bought was the glass and the cloth. A fabric. Uh, I did have these came from this came from Cheeky Mantis originally, but it's in it's about L3 or L4. I'm not sure how big it is or sex yet. I did have a Australian King Mantis that unfortunately passed away last month or it built its spine. I can't remember. Anyway, it went well, and the other one died not long after having it, and that was my giant Asian, unfortunately. Anyway, I will feed it off camera. And then show you the next animal. My Vietnam Spinosaurus, Finny, eating a mealworm. Pretty cool. Not sure, it's an adult, I'm not sure if it's a male or a female. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Garnet, my Asamani adult uh, wild form. Um, yeah, eating a big fat mealworm. Pulchra or Brazilian black eating a mealworm. That's got some verts give me when it's tiny. It's grown quite a bit since Scott give me. Yep. Um, I'll show you the next animal. But first, this is my baby and it's still unsexed. My baby captive bred from Germany, one year old trio bull. In scoping, it could be two years now. But now it's really tiny now. And it's real cool. I love it to bits. From, come from Andy's Aquatics in Liverpool. And it was a good price. Anyway, as you can see, that's where it is. It eats pre killed. Question is, is it still alive? One second, I don't like doing this. But, yep, still alive. Um, yeah, it's really tiny. It's only like five centimeters. Can't wait until that grows up. Be Longy Manus come from Steve. That Scorpio T's and more. It was a gift. It's six month old. Uh, can't wait until this gets older. It started to develop a bit of an attitude for some reason. But anyway, yeah. Next up is my Dimophily Dimantiensis. I'm not sure on sex. It originally came from Phil at the Spider House based in Blackpool. It's had a one or two months since it's been with me. I love it to bits and hope I hope to breed it in the future. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to feed this one on camera because it can be a bit temperamental and I don't trust it. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Get back to you in a bit. I'm my Philly Diamantiensis eating. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Now, there would have been... Another animal, which I'm gutted to say, uh, Hercules, my deserty scorpion, but obviously people know it passed away. Um, but yeah, maybe I might get another scorpion or something down the line, who knows. Anyway, I'd like to say thanks to the people who've given me some of my animals, like um, Scorpios, Tees and more, Steve Beeson. Really nice guy, and he's got a good um, stock list. I have a message him or me on Facebook, and I'll tell you what he's got. Um, also, I'd like to thank Scott Tasker at Scott Timberts. Amazing guy. I'm happy to call him my brother. Um, well, brother from another mother, sister from another mister. Anyway, um, yeah, i just like to say uh, like thank you to all the people who've been kind and stuff in the hobby uh, obviously I am scaling down over time and keeping what I've got at the moment 
Um, but you never know. I don't know. Um, but I'd like to say thanks for, to any, everyone who's helped me on the way. It's people like Spider Mom, uh, all sorts of people, Ellie's Bugs Babies, Peter Webster, Mark Ashton, Gary from GJA Gecko, and uh, no GJA Exotics. Who else is there to thank? So many people. Uh, yep. See ya.